I'm on the fence with those things. I love that they don't use gas. I do love that because in my simplistic view of the world is if we had electric cars, you know, we wouldn't be dependent on oil in uh, the Middle East as much. And then maybe we wouldn't be, you know, trying to air quote, bring them freedom. And then they would be mad at us because the way we bring freedom is to drop bombs on them. And then they'd want to come over here and fuck us up. Like if, if we just sort of use less of that, maybe we just would ignore that part of the world. And uh, we wouldn't be, you know, involved in that shit because it bankrupted this company, this company, this country, which is something for some reason, like they'll never talk about. Like us going over there in, in Operation Freedom, whatever the hell they called it, you know, it was initially Saddam was part of 9-11 and then it was he has weapons of mass destruction and then it became it's a liberation. They just kept changing why they were going over there. And um, <clears throat> for whatever reason, people supported it, um, which I think for most people, it was uh, cheaper gas. <clears throat> and now here we are. I drove down the street the other day and it's like seven something a gallon I saw. And uh, so you know what that means. People will be like, fucking Joe Biden. And they're going to ignore and they never really report on it every August. You know, for some reason in August is when the, the check is due. And there's this serious thing of like, oh my God, is the dollar going to collapse? That happens every year in August. And their solution is they print another trillion dollars with nothing behind it, which just causes inflation. You know, this giant fucking Ponzi scheme. And then whoever's in office gets blamed. Liberals blame the conservatives. Conservatives blame the liberals. And all it is is just a bunch of cunts in suits sitting in the Federal Reserve. And for the life of me, I don't understand why the standing president doesn't just send one fucking platoon from the army down there and just walk in and just say, yeah, uh, you know, we're running this shit now. We're taking this over. Like, why can't they do that? They do that when they build highways and they just walk into little people's houses, right? The little people going, yeah, that's it. Eminent domain. Fuck you. We're building a highway here. Why don't we just do that to them? Walk in there and be like, hey, guess what? Here's the deal. You don't run this shit anymore. We do. And we don't owe you shit. And you should be happy and we're not hanging you by your fucking toes out in the, the goddamn town square. I don't know why the fuck won't they do that? What I think it is is because if they, if they did it, the dollar would collapse and there would be chaos for a minute. And all those fucking whores that are politicians... You know, like all the rest of us, we're all bought into the Ponzi scheme. So they, they don't want to topple the Ponzi scheme. They're, they, they're just hoping it doesn't topple within their lifetime on like their watch is the only way that I can kind of kind of see that. I don't know. Would have been nice, you know. Bernie Sanders, he wanted to go after those guys. He wanted to go after those guys. You know what they call them? A communist. <laughs> <laughs> so I've gotten to the point in my life where I'm just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to sit back and see the humor in how fucking self-destructive we are as I go out and buy a gas-guzzling Ford F-250 that I don't need. Um, how funny is that? I'm sitting there. I like the electric cars. That, you know, it'd be great. We'll be less dependent on the Middle East. And then I go out and buy a fucking F-250. <laughs> I mean, that's classic human behavior right there, right on this podcast. You know what we need to do while well, I'm doing the exact opposite? We need more people to be like me, the hypocrite.